Hello everyone, my name is Viktor Öhman and in this video I'll be going over a workflow that is so so powerful and yet incredibly simple and easy to do. Displacing geometry. This is something that required an external DCC before and several steps but can now be done straight in engine with just a few clicks using the built-in modeling tools. I'll try and keep this video short and snappy so let's hop right in. So first off, let's open up the modeling tools either by using the drop down menu right up there or by using the hotkey shift 5. Next, let's create a plane and in this case I'll make it 2 by 2 meters as that's the size of the actual material we'll be using. Once that's done, just hit apply. And now I want to add some tessellation to it and in order to do that I'll use the remesh tool and I'll set a value of 1 million which should be plenty for this example, but feel free to go higher if you want to. Now comes the fun part. Let's apply the material so we get a better idea of what we're doing by just drag dropping it onto our plane. And now I'll open up the displace tool and switch it over to texture 2D mode. This will allow us to use any texture as the displacement input. The only thing you need to keep in mind here is that the texture you're using cannot be a virtual texture. In case it is, just uncheck the virtual texture checkbox in the texture inspector. And once done, just drop it into the slot right here. And you'll notice a really useful feature here is the option to specify an individual color channel. And this is especially useful if you're using channel packed textures. And once you're done, just give it a second to work its magic. And in case you want to, you can tweak the intensity. I'm pretty happy around this value here. And there we go. I think this is looking awesome, but we can do a little bit of optimization before we call it a day. Fortunately, there is a great built-in way of doing just that, the simplify tool. So let's hop into it and set it to a target triangle count of 25%. As you can see, we're still getting plenty of nice detail, but at a much lower cost and footprint. One of the amazing things about this workflow is nanites, which will allow us to display millions upon millions of triangles without the engine even breaking a sweat. And all we need to do is to activate nanites via the model window by typing in nanites and hitting the checkbox. And there we go. And just for fun, let's just take a quick look at the difference between the normal only plane with the displaced one. So I'm just going to open up this window here, search for plane, drag one in and apply the same material to this one. But this one is just the normal without any displacement. Just look at the difference. And the amazing thing here is that there is no trickery. There's no shader magic. It's just pure geometry. And this workflow doesn't only work on natural, more rough surfaces, but on anything really. I've used it for man-made surfaces like walls, roofs, and so on. And I use this workflow extensively in this environment that you see right here, for example. All right, that's it for this tutorial. I really hope you learned something and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.